tonight on Strip Down. Jay Sempko. Josh Palmer. What are you doing? Teresa Sokerka. Me, Robert Palmer. Are we still on the air? <laughs> Make sure you check out Strip Down this week. Wait a minute. Rapid tornado of questions. Ricasso! Coming all the way from the Queen City. This week, Strip Down goes green. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jiminy. The last Saskatchewan performance. He's stripping me down. All the way from Crate, Saskatchewan. Tommy John. He's a friend of arms up. That's my case. Here's the first shot of the night. Keep it going. Basically, Keep it. you're saying you're better than Sit me. Sit down and play your instruments. Jay Semp. They'll bring the party. All you got to do is show Mary up. Mary Catherine. The Strip Down Christmas All Stars. One more song, buddy. Jay, 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 Jay. 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 I'm Laura Churchman. Thanks for joining us for the 50th episode of Strip Down. We have an exciting show lined up for you. I'm going to pass it over to your host, Curtis Anderson.
Stripped down the show where Saskatchewan musicians perform and then I speak the show that is saving local television three nights a week stripped down's momentum is unstoppable its popularity grows like vines if Mayor Atchison were here tonight he'd tell you it's actually stripped down that makes Saskatoon truly a city that shines he yes he would. On this very stage, we've brought you Sempco, Securka, Pereira, and Lane. And then we brought you Maguire and Brinklow again and again. Strip Down has been the result of the blood, the sweat, and the tears of 11 volunteers for nearly two years. So tonight, we switch gears. You guys ready? After 49 opening acts, there'll be no more delays. This is episode 50, and ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Strip Down, Pirate Fridays! Check your closet, because they usually hide in there. Better watch out for their tails. Always looking for the easy way out. Something slides beneath those scales. Watch those floorboards are not that strong anymore. After years of abuse, they can't take much more pressure from your roars and stomping shoes. Face them one day. Just because. 
because you close your eyes. You are watching Stripped Down episode 50. I'm your host, Curtis Anderson, alongside my lovely co-host, Laura Churchman. That's me. Don't snicker. Don't snicker. <laughs> she's Come on. Lo she's lovely. She's delightful. Here we are, Pirate Fridays, episode 50. Adam, how pumped are you? Pretty pumped, Curtis. Okay, you have been part of the crew since day one. What's it like bringing your band to the strip down stage, being on this side of the cameras? It's pretty. It's pretty crazy. It's like it's the other side, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to like, say. Laura, can you believe we've done 50 hours of stripped down? Last time I, you co-hosted, I can't believe it. It was episode 25, which was also our birthday episode. Halfway. Because Laura and I share the same birthday, November 13th. Yeah. You excited to be back here? To oh, be so excited. Co-hosting. Say something about episode life. 50. You gotta be excited. I'm just really excited. Episode 50, I was waiting for these guys to be on. I'm so excited. I love their band. So. Fire Friday. So you got something to say? Oh. You guys can talk. You got a boom oh. mic. Oh. We went all over. <laughs> the rest of the pirates can join in. Pirate Fridays. How long have you guys been together? How long has this been going on? It's been uh, about a year and some. Year and a bit. Year yeah. and a bit, yeah. yeah. Started with that hearty battle of the bands and... That you guys lost. The first time. <laughs> so oh, come on, Curtis. Let's be positive. Children, so. You came back <laughs> a year later. And who did you beat to win? Uh, Suffer the Children. Suffer the not? Children. We got our revenge on yeah, the revenge. <laughs> so you guys have come a long way in one year. Yeah, I'd say so. Like, we got, we've gotten like quite a bit of exposure thanks to... Uh, Thanks to all things stripped down. Curtis Andrew. You guys were going to be on like episode 20, 22, but it was like, no, we got to save ya. Pity, pity. <laughs> now, Laura, mm. anything you want to ask the band? Jump in here. I, if I could just jump to a question. I want to know how they got the name. I don't even know that. Great I'm question. like great friends with all of them and I have no idea. Like, it has a deep meaning. Who's, I'd love to know, who's please jump in enlighten here, me. Ask Bryn. 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 The ace of Bane, Bryn Chrysa, Bryn, Pirate Fridays. Was this your your uh, your dream child here? Kind of, but this the history of the name is going to sound really lame. <laughs> Just say it. you got to tell it. the truth. <laughs> Even if it's lame, well, you're walking to the shot of Dan. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> Even if it's lame, make it sound awesome. Do it in, like, uh, you know, a, an excited voice. Uh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the need of a name, and the Battle of Bands was coming near. So um, I went on the internet. <laughs> and search band names and <laughs> it wasn't you searched that no okay let's make up one all right pirate fridays it was friday and you guys like pirates pirate fridays is that better oh, oh, that was right. weak okay oh god like, it was like pirate ninja robot scientist something <laughs> another one that was called like digital yellow Ooh, that would and be bad. uh noah and the whale oh no yeah. Jonas and the Whale. Jonas and the Whale. Oof. And then there's the real McCoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, so that was bad. It was like yeah. a techno band in the <laughs> 80s. All right, guys, we only have 90 minutes. What are we going to hear tonight? What did you kick it off with? Brand new song. Yeah, we wrote, we wrote that one like three days ago. Three days ago. It's called, uh, well, I guess it's unofficial, but we call it Monsters. Okay. So far, and um, it's about monsters and things that go bump in the night. Yeah. What scares Adan the most? <laughs> Girls, yeah, basically. And Dan, really quickly, looking back, 50 episodes. Talk about some highlights other than tonight, because I know tonight is going to be the highlight. First time stripped down, going 90 minutes with Pirate Fridays. Woo! Talk about some highlights of stripped down. Oh, just so many bands coming on and just it being awesome. Like hearing the live music is such a plus. Coming in here, love doing what you love, and then hearing live music at the same time. Great, Jiminy. Hey, Jiminy, uh, hey, the one Dan co-hosted. That was a stellar episode. Okay, what are we going to hear tonight? Um, some oldies, some uh, newbies. <laughs> we've, uh, <laughs> we've, uh, we're gonna hear a new track that we recorded actually at uh, Tanda Recording. Yes, yes, yes. We have lots of taped segments tonight. Okay, uh, we have to throw to our first taped segment. I don't know if anybody can get a shot of the man with the handheld camera over there. Mm. I don't know if we can pull it off. Someone, Eric, spin around. Let's get a shot of Jesse Gordon. <laughs> Jesse Gordon was one of our, uh, I guess, new volunteers, but really he only started about episode five, and he's been here oh, ever is. since. So right now, let's take a look at all things Jesse Gordon. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Amazing Jesse Gordon and the Handheld Camera, soon to be a, a popular children's book, I'm sure. We didn't have a handheld for quite some time. I, I started enjoying it and I was doing pretty bad at it at first, I think. Jesse's handheld was never bad. It was never bad. I don't know why he keeps saying that. He was just thinking too far outside the box when he first started doing handheld. He, we weren't really understanding sequencing. He always wanted to do some awesome art pull out from like, you know, a shoe or the guitar pick and it just didn't work right when you're dissolving between like a close up of the artist's face to his guitar pick. So Jesse was actually being too creative back then, but his, his camera work was never bad. Somewhere around October, or December, Jesse said, you know, I'd really like to have the handheld back. And he said, well, you'll do it then? He said, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And he did it. He did it grand style. And Dan and I always joke that he must have spent his entire Christmas vacation with a log on his shoulder because he came back and it was flawless. He, he not only started doing the traditional things you can do with a handheld, like you know, put it on the ground and shoot up, but he started climbing ladders. It scares me every week when he goes up on the ladder and shoots down, but I'm glad he does it but it still scares me. And then I like take my eyes off for a second and glance down and you're like standing right there like staring up at me wide-eyed. The episode with Jeffrey Stryker, his camera work was scary, it was so good. He started climbing ladders, he started shooting between, if he could find a hole he'd shoot through it or, or just get an incredible shot down a line of keys on the piano, it just he was getting incredible stuff with a handheld. Jesse's actually gotten so good with the handheld camera that he's freelanced for Credit Union Center. You know, yeah, this is, this is sort of like a Jesse shot here. This is kind of, he, he'd do this, only he'd make it look good. And over the course of the season, he got better and better, found newer, trickier shots, got really good with his focus, finding things really fast and on time. And then uh, I'd say by the end of the season, which is our, we are, where we are now, he is just as good as some of the people here that work professionally. Jesse's amazing handheld work is not only his blessing, it's also his curse, because as a result, he's never hosted an episode. He's never really been on camera. Every time we have the big group get together, we need him to stay on handheld so he can keep shooting everybody. But rest assured, we are gonna have a Jesse Gordon appreciation stripped down summer special. I don't know when, sometime over July or August. We're gonna let him co-host, we're gonna let him pick the band. Jesse Gordon appreciation night on stripped down during the summer, look for it. Stick around, we got more stripped down right after this. Escape sports gear and equipment for longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, unicycling, extra cycling, dirt surfing, and mountain boarding. For more information on sales and rentals, www.escapesports.ca. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Kashkara <laughs> What's he saying, Father? Uh, Commandant Cartier, he's saying uh, this nation's name is uh, Canada. Canada. Uh, Canada. Uh, big, big pardon, sir, but the word he used, I think it really means those houses down no, there. No, no, believe me, I know the word. It means nation, and Canada is its name. But I'm sure it means the houses, the village. Do you know how many people get their water from underground? Water can come from the surface or underground. Groundwater is found in the layers of soil and rock beneath our feet in saturated areas called aquifers. This water source is collected in wells and supplies about half of North America's drinking water. The problem is, the quality and safety of this underground water is directly affected by what we do on the land above it. What can you do to keep your drinking water safe? Groundwater starts on the surface, so whatever you put on your lawn that the plants don't use can seep into the groundwater. This includes excess chemicals and fertilizers, and even oil spills, so be sure to dispose of them properly. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? 
information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. I first heard about Strip Down, the name Strip Down, whenever I tell my friends, they all are like, oh yeah, I'm like, no, no, no. It's a local Saskatchewan music showcase. Don't worry about it. Jordan uh, showed up. We just lost Ian Cameron, and uh, so we had kind of a gap. And um, Jordan just showed up and said, hey, I, wanna, I like the show. I want to start do stuff. I want to help out. Well, I got this email from this Jordan Bizdell guy. Just said, really interested in learning uh, the industry. I'm in third year university. Can I come help out on anything? And yeah. Absolutely, come check out the show. I was going to like a career counselor uh, at the U of S and I was just trying to figure out like where, I, where am I going and whatnot and, and I, I told her I was interested in doing something in the media industry, like I just, just dabble in or something. And your name came up on, on the list and I contacted people and well, you're the only one that responded. I really have no idea where else he sent that email to but I can just I, I can't even imagine what was going through their minds. Oh, sir, we got an email from uh, this Jordan Bizdell guy, a third year university student, really eager and hardworking and charismatic. He wants to come in and work for free. What should we do? Oh, delete it. Get rid of that email right now. First episode, uh, I think uh, my first episode was We Were Lovers. And like, apparently that was the first one of episodes where you guys didn't do acoustic or something. And like, there's a, like a lot of things are going on. Like it was loud, it was crazy. Like that first episode, I was a little overwhelmed. Like, you know, we were a pretty tight group after after one and a half to two seasons. We we all kind of know each other. We got our all our in jokes, and we hang around afterwards, eat pizza, and we all kind of laugh. And it must have been a tough group to break. But he did. He showed up, and uh, he just kind of hung out with us. And after a few weeks, he couldn't imagine him not being there. And he's just so flexible. We we train him. We throw him on a different thing every week, and he would he would do it just like that. He he would pick it up. Jordan came in at a really difficult time too because the rest of the crew and I had already had a year under our belts like we had gelled as a we're like a unit a family and he came in and he didn't back down he was hard working he infiltrated the social group which I mean that's pretty intimidating to come into people to a group where people have been working that hard together for a year and he just he fit right in instantly and it's it's a credit to him and even coming from sort of like as a social standpoint not knowing all our in jokes all our little names we've made up among ourselves for tricky camera moves that we just know because we all we've been doing it forever uh, he caught on to our lingo he caught on to our ideas and he caught on to us and uh, now yeah I couldn't imagine doing the show without him great guy superhero I'd hire him to do any project if I could get another 11 Jordans I do this show twice a week Ladies and gentlemen, Pirate Fridays. Just cause I ain't rockin' through your Nike SP Sometimes you gotta walk with whatever you got Be something that I gotta have given me And I'm just a couple of MCs with a couple of dreams Working day to day lives, get a couple of creams I hope you got this album for less than three I can't remember, remember last time I paid for a CD The roots run deep in this family tree Cause it's not about the money, it's the music scene I guess an hour of life is worth minimum wage But working dead end is like living in a cage So I stay entertained with the dreams of the stage Or I'm poking at me with a man but the lyrics are subtle, not ripping through your rib cage. It's hard to make you stop. Take it in cage. Yo, I'm not trying to boast. Brag, I'm the bitch with the empty qualities of park. Who I pick till I step back and relax with this easy stretch cage. Smoking this song and take it back to the Stone Age. Couple of dreams, work day to day, lives get a couple of creams. 
I hope you got this album for less than three I can't remember last time I paid for a CD The roots run deep in this family tree Cause it's not about the money, but the music, you see It's not about the money, but the music, you see It's not about the money, but the music, you see It's not about the money, but the music, you see It's not about the money, but the music, you see Shaw TV Studios tonight. You're watching Strip Down. Where's my co-host? Laura, oh, get over I'm here. here. It's all right. I made it. 90 minutes of Strip Down tonight, and I think we have a new champion. For the longest time, Chocolate Covered Candies was my favorite song ever played. I think Money But Music is my new favorite. Took its place. I love Whoa. that song. Wow. That's seriously one of my favorite songs in the world right now. It's on my iPod. I jog to it all the time. I'm just the <laughs> happiest guy going down Spadina. Just... It's a happy song. What's yeah, that about? Yeah. Well, it's just about like just having a good time. Just like, I don't know. It's about we just like making music. You know, we never get paid for shows, so <laughs> it's not about once. the money. It's the music. We scene. did one. We made like fifty bucks six ways. That's like that's so eight, like eight dollars. Yeah. I don't know. Equals <laughs> not bad. Yeah. <laughs> and again, if anybody else wants to jump in here, we've got this fancy new boom mic, so it's gonna pick up all your audio. Oh word! You wanted to jump in before. <laughs> When we were talking about the origins of Pirate Fridays, you, you said you had all sorts of hilarious stuff to add, oh. so now's your chance, don't Oh, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, well, I thought we just typed in, like, uh, some kind of band name creator, and it come, came up with that, right? Isn't... That's, what that's, did you yeah, search? But, unfortunately. Um, I think the keyword was pirate. Yeah. Pirate. So you wanted pirate in the name. Well, yeah. Who doesn't you, like you pirates? Like it, <laughs> both true, I guess, yeah. Yeah, some would say. Mm. Career highlight so far. Career highlight of Pirate Career Highlights. <laughs> Looking back at the oh, last year and a half. Oh man, uh, we played a show a while ago at Louis, and it was just it was just awesome. We got an encore, and I got to crowd surf, and like, <laughs> I can die happy, you know. Like, <laughs> I think we may have footage of that. I put together a Money But Music video, which we're wow, gonna play a little a little later on, because we do have 90 <laughs> minutes to fill tonight. It is episode 50. We'll talk to you again in a few minutes, but I'm gonna stand in front of you and talk to Miss Churchman, Laura. I can't Hi, help but notice you are dressed fantastic tonight. Yeah, I got these clothes from Ultimo Yurimoto. How about you, Curtis? You look I, great. I was going to say, what are you wearing tonight, Laura? Ultimo Yurimoto, yeah, as you're, am I. How about you? Huge oh, shout out wow. to Ultimo Yurimoto Barry. He is our sponsor. Each and every week, I stop by. He dresses me up in Saskatoon's hottest fashions. And here we go. This was just this afternoon. This is before I got my hair cut. It, it went by fast today. Yeah. It went by yeah, fast, everything. Laura. Okay, let's go to a little segment we did where we went to Barry, Laura and I, and we said, Barry, tonight is episode 50. Dress us. What do you got? This is Ultimo Yurimoto. All right, Laura Churchman, here we are. Episode 50. It's in the middle of the afternoon. We got to get dressed. We got to get dressed up, Laura. It's a big night. I want some fancy wear. There's only one place to go. To our sponsor, Ultimo Yurimoto. You got to meet Barry, Laura. This is going to be so much fun. Yeah. Good to see you again, Barry. Great to see you, Curtis. Congratulations on the Planet S Award. I've lost track. How many years is that uh, now? That's four in a row for us. Our uh, formula is simple. We try and give you great service, and we never underestimate the taste level of the city. All right, Barry, for 49 weeks now I've been coming here, and you've been dressing me up each week for Strip Down. Today, something different. we got a co-host, the lovely Laura Churchman here is going to be Laura, great to, to have you in the store. This is episode 50, Barry. This has got to be huge. Now you can get guys wear and women's wear. What is it? What are we going to do? Are we going to go casual? Are we going to go fancy? This is episode 50, Barry. You feel the excitement? <laughs> I do, buddy. Uh, I think uh, we'll start off with a little dress element. All right, here's outfit number one. All right. Nice. What do we got up first, Barry? 
Okay, uh, I'll start first with Laura. She's wearing a, a dress from Los Angeles, from a collection we do called Kitty, and we are currently the only people in Canada carrying it. We do a lot of grad business and wedding business with this collection, and most of the fabrics are non ring She'll tell you too, the fabric is fairly thick, so it doesn't show undergarment lines, etc. All right, is so. this hide flaws as well? I hope so. <laughs> With you, you're pretty well flawless, buddy. All we had to do was polish you up a bit. Nice. You're like a diamond in the rough. Okay, first of all, I love the shoes. The shoes are The awesome. shoes are, there's kind of two distinct trends happening in fashion right now. One is the little more pointed toe, almost boot style toe. The pants are Jay Lindenberg pants, so a fairly trim pant, but it has the 2% lycra, similar to the dress, so it has a lot of stretch and really holds its shape great. You can drive to Regina in those, get out for your meeting, there's no wrinkles in the back of the legs. And the shirt, you'll notice the length. He's not a super tall guy. Doesn't hang over his butt like a skirt. It's the nice length, so untucked, it still looks good. And gives his legs a little extra length. Right on, okay. One down. One Are down. You sold, is this it, or are we gonna try some more? Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a couple, okay. buddy. All right. Back in the change rooms. Right. Back in the change rooms. <laughs> Got some nice stuff in the back. Really hot. Okay. Uh, Tell us about these I'll, ones. I'll start with uh, Laura first. This is a line that we do from London, England called Religion. They always are a fairly experimental company and do some amazing back detail on their pieces. Uh, this is kind of one that uh, is toned down. She could actually wear this with a nice black blazer to work if she had an office job and she just wouldn't take her jacket off. <laughs> the design in here is actually skulls. It's a repeating sequencing of uh, skulls with lightning bolts coming out of some of the eyes on like the rows, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and then the back, just turn around here, Laura, is pretty cool with the cutaways and then the sequin beads. Yeah, they're really cool. I want to do another spin. I love this outfit. <laughs> this is like combining the best a of nice both jacket. worlds. We got the same Pant and shoes shoe, before. right? And all we did was switch up the jacket and the T-shirt to get Curtis looking uh, pretty hot for for a weekend. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. And uh, this is a line that I do out of Kansas City, and uh, they're making like retro three-quarter sleeve baseball jerseys with some of the iconic music figures. This being the Hendrix one, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. The jacket Curtis is wearing is called oh. Bickenberg, and uh, he is a Belgian designer, a former pro soccer player that has a very athletic, military-esque feel to his clothing. This is real sterling silver in here. It comes with a uh, lambskin leather pouch or holster where you can pull it out and, and leave it out or tuck it in for a little more conservative look. And you can see the nice fit on the garment, very fitted through the body and pretty flattering for most guys. It's really nice. This is starting to scream episode 50, Barry. I'm loving this, but one more? One more. Going. We're gonna do one more. Well, you both got that nice rock and roll edge, but with an Ultimo twist of being classy and not trashy. So that's really what we do here. It's, it's, and it's a stretch to make Laura and I not look trashy, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are real easy to work with. This jacket is awesome, Barry. Start with me. Start with me. The jacket is para jumper, a line out of Italy. These people make all the real Navy SEAL and U.S. Coast Guard jackets. So it has a lot of cool pocket detail. And this is actually the helicopter pilot's jacket, so it has all the hidden mesh compartments in there for gauze and bandages and scissors and all the stuff they might need if they were actually rescuing somebody. Or doing an episode of Strip. Ah, this one has been done, that's right. <laughs> you never know when a client's gonna go over the edge. And it has the real military buckling system on the jacket as well. 
And uh, I think Curtis will tell you the leather is butter soft. So this is, this pretty, is pretty uh, Excuse awesome me. jacket. Jeez. This is a new line that we're doing called Antonio Zingara out of Italy. Um, got that real cool kind of rock and roll boot look. It has uh, black on black uh, dragon print on the shoe and hand stitching around the edging here. And you can see this little panel actually inset with the hand stitching. Come on, there's a freaking and skull on the butt. Look yeah, at that. All the detailing on the jean are all skulls. That's a collection that we're doing out of Los Angeles called Rebel Spirit. And that's for that guy who's got a little bit of that Rebel Spirit, which <laughs> suits great. Curtis perfectly. I, yeah, I, we're not going to top this. This is episode 50 right here. Laura. <laughs> Laura has, uh, we kind of specialize in retro rock and roll t-shirts. We really don't do many of the current bands except for some of the old time bands like the Stones and uh, ACDC. But most of what we do are bands that are from the past and we love Blondie. Always been a hot, uh, hot seller for us and this is like one of the newest prints. And see, she sort of has the animal zebra printing in the background which goes with the reptile jeans and kind of the leopard spotted jacket tone on tone. And you can see how nice that jacket fits. It's kind of something you could wear with a skirt and a high heeled shoe or you could actually rock it with jeans and a tee like she is for a night out on the town. And uh, we just like the a little bit of the military feel here, which matches up with Curtis's real military jacket. There's so episode 50. Again, I want to make the point that this is not something I would have picked off the shelf for myself. Do you get that a lot here at Ultimo? Well, what we try and do is match up the right clothes with the right people. And a lot of people have had a bad shopping experience, so if they haven't shopped with us before, they're a little bit hesitant. But once you work with us once or twice, uh, we have clients that walk in and just go, dress me, please and they trust us and we consider that to be a real honor so we try and do the best job possible that we can and most clients uh, tell their friends about us because that's not the kind of shopping experience you normally get and i guess that's what makes us number one is that little extra expertise and uh, we're not afraid to spend a little money at the tailor shop to make sure it fits you perfectly. There it is, Barry, episode 50. On behalf of all the cast and crew and volunteers of Strip Down, thank you so much for your ongoing always, support always for the local community you, television. Strip Down, we're back right. next season, Barry. All right. You guys Perfect. have a great, I'm guessing great final show, and I uh, <laughs> thank you very much for uh, coming in and letting us uh, show uh, Saskatoon what we do. Again, a big thanks to Barry and Ultimo Yurimoto and his staff. And speaking of thanks, we got to give a big shout out. Come on, everybody, give this guy a round of applause. The man of 1,006 holds, Colton Wall. Strip down would not be possible without this man bringing you the flawless audio each and every week for 50 weeks now. Colton, look back, 50 weeks. You've only missed like two highlights of Strip Down. You are a master of the board, by the way, sir. Look back, 50 episodes. Thank you. I, I like flawless. Flawless. That is that is that is generous. Yes. Uh, highlights have definitely been uh, just certain artists on, like Ryan Bolt and Shyler Jansen, and many others. Last week when we did the looked back clips episode, I made mention that Sal, who does the like talking mic volume inside the control room, and Colton Wall, who mixes the band, have the two hardest jobs each and every week in Strip Down. I can read the phone book, and then when I edit it later, if it needs editing, I can edit that out. I can't edit around bad audio. So it is a testament to your ability and to Sal's ability that this show goes off that flawless each and every week. Colton, final words, episode 50. Yay. All right, there it is. Let's clap and out to commercial break, everybody. We'll be right back with more Strip Down, episode 50, 90 minutes after this. More Strip Down after this, 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 this. Ah, oh, that was a big echo. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Monsieur, 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 it's not over. You still have the last score to do, so please take it. 
We're now going to rehearse the crowning touch for the Saint Jean Baptiste Day. This score has just been composed especially for the event, so please, gentlemen. <laughs> Monsieur, start over. <laughs> Gentlemen, this piece deserves better. Hmm? And the authors are Canadian like us, so please, gentlemen. The regimental band of Les Voltigeurs. Bravo, they gave Bravo. the first public performance of a new piece by Calix à Lavallée and Basil Routier in Quebec City on Saint-Jean-Baptiste Day. 1880. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Pirate Fridays. Red and he's thinking about the day and all the things he could have said like what's a story can you tell me what you heard i don't know what it means but i'll hang on every word so sit down chill out all is okay he's not uh, really there but he never goes away so dim all the lamps and turn off the lights and sleep tight tonight because the morning is bright and the last words, yeah that's what i thought it was over when it's not and he got what he got he had one soul and i had not it wasn't rough because it isn't called a good rich for the Shaw TV studios tonight. I love saying that. It never gets old. Episode 50 co-host Laura Churchman. I don't even know where we can stand. I want to talk to know. Greg no and Tyson now. But everyone can jump in. I'm going to come over to Tyson. Yeah, let's come over to Greg over here. Tyson, welcome back to Strip Down. Hey, hey thanks. Awesome. Okay. Recently, Dylan, we <laughs> pandemonium tonight. Recently, you guys hit the studio. Tanda recording. Talk a little bit about Tanda recording. Uh, best studio I've ever been to. It's just, it's got the most chill, like, atmosphere. Just the layout of it, you can chill on top of the studio, you can chill below, you can, I don't know, it's just super sweet, super professional quality. Yeah. Yeah. Tony Kazoo came to me a while back and said, you know, we should do something between Shaw and Tanda recording, and I was like, I got just the thing. I got a band coming on for episode 50. Let's get them in there. Cameras will roll, we'll edit it down, we'll air it on episode 50. So speak openly, you guys. What was it like working with Tony? It's 
awesome. It was funky fresh. <laughs> It was balling. It was gangsta. It was ghetto. It was pretty like, gangsta. Yeah. Cool. And like remodeled the song for us as well. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. we really appreciated. And the song was? Aquaphonics. Okay. So what was wrong with Aquaphonics before you met Tony? Well, apparently a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 13 minutes long. Yeah. 13 minutes too long. That's an epic. Wow. <laughs> All right. But positive things to say was a... It, where, where's, where is it? It's it's not quite done yet, right? You guys have to go back for a fourth day. Yeah. Yeah. We don't like to talk. So about close. That. Okay. Just fine tuning. Anyways, again, three days worth. I had over four hours of footage. I had to edit down. Get a drink of water, because this is a good eight or nine minutes. But let's look back at Tanda recording over four days with Pirate Fridays. First thoughts on Pirate Friday, awesome. Young kids with tons of energy, so it's kind of, that's what I want to record is people with lots of energy. So, first impression, tons of energy. We sat down with them, oh geez, about three weeks ago, I came over to their place and we did a, we did a uh, kind of a pre-production session. So we did, um, we worked on the song, we got the song sounding a little better. At miles per hour. 15 miles an hour is like yeah. uh, it's, it's pretty simple, standard setup. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna go for album quality instead of like a demo quality. We're gonna go for what we would normally do on a full-blown project. Like if you were gonna spend 10 grand on a record, this is the same session setup that we would normally do. This is the same care that we would normally take. Uh, same microphone setup as uh, what we did for Jordan Cook. This is the same setup we did for uh, North of Shorty. The same setup we've done for pretty much every band. But at the same time, this is like a vanilla setting. You set up, you start with this, then you change it over to something else. You change the toms might not work, the cymbals might not work, that microphone might not work with this. You take the time, you listen to each little thing, and it changes as you go because... Uh, Every drummer plays every drum differently. Every drummer plays everything differently. So everything changes. Yeah, ukulele. And like really and bad like high speed games. video games. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the Hummer game. Uh... Oh, God, why is he so... Oh. Where are you? Where are you? Too far ahead, you can't see. Ah, this is Tanda recording. Tanda recording is the fourth studio I've been at, uh, well I've worked for, owned, or operated. Tanda Recording is a business partnership between Arlen Hall and myself, so Tony and Arlen, so the business is Tony and Arlen, Tanda, T and A, but it's, yeah, and I'll leave it at that. But uh, the business has been up and running, we opened our doors April 14th, I think was our grand opening. It's, when we designed it, when I built it for them, um, it was it was meant to be a pro studio. It wasn't meant to be a home studio. It was meant to be a pro studio. So. Some people who play guitar that you like their guitar tone. Back. 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 Really? John, John Mayer. Mayer. I like John Mayer. You like John Mayer. Yeah, man. So like, well, I don't know. Sometimes like that Fender that uh. What's his name had? What's an amp you love? I like the Fender. Ooh. That was close. I like the Fender Blues amp, like Fender that big Blues one. Okay. Or that Deville is a nice too. Reverby or very dry. Reverby. So what's the song called we're doing tonight? Aquaphonics. Uh, it's, it's a deep song. You have to listen to it a few times to get the real meaning. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't.
top of the snare, bottom of the snare, but I, I gotta change that. Does he care if I go in? You can see it from that side. Go that way. This is go Google it. Go Google it right now. This is a true story. Right okay. And then. It uh, and so this is like what happens when we jam. So, funny. so did you film that video? What video? <laughs> the girl falling. Oh yeah. Good. That's Good. making it. That's making it to TV finally. <laughs> 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 Good. Okay. Good. Okay. That table was bolted to the ground. <laughs> Use a pizza box, that's hardcore. Yeah. It's Ninja Turtle stuff. Yeah, it's right there, man. Just tear the lid off. Shall we do take two? It needed another chorus. Oh yeah. My second chorus is very wrong. What can you do, you know? Tighter, and then it just tightens everything up. So what's going on? I don't know, we're jamming it again. What? We're in. Hey. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> it's hot out, but I'm still eating nachos. Where do you suppose all this cheddar goes? Washing down with some gin and tonics while listening to aquaponics. This is where we're gonna put some chips eating. We're gonna be eating chips. Here we are, day two of recording. How'd day one go? Uh, really good. We got most of it down right now. We're just back here with keys, I guess. And um, the here comes the hammer. The, the, the last, the shot. The what? So here comes the hammer. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Go ahead and clean that up. I laughed before they finished all this stuff, and I came back, and it sounds pretty good. I was surprised because it sounded like garbage when I laughed. But I've always dreamed of this. I'm living the dream right now. How's the song sounding? Really good. Yeah, Tony's great. So is the song. Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. Precisely. Two peppers. Spaghetti. I'll see if I got any really deep text messages lately. We're swimming in your fish tank. I owe you talent shrank. Off of the piggy bank and now we're gonna rock the plank. I owe you talent shrank. Ooh. We're swimming in your fish tank. I owe you talent shrank. Off of the piggy bank and now we're gonna rock the plank. Now he's doing it. Yeah.
We're swimming in your fish tank. I hope your talent shrank. Cup of that piggy bank, and then we're gonna rock the plank. We're just working on some gang vocal harmonies. Then, the track will be soon finished. We just have to write the verses. Skip hydroponics, we're hooked on phonics, or we have wholesale bling bling, feel free to kiss my pinky ring. I like the first one. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, fix. Licks, fix. Uh, six pirates makes two hat tricks. Because hat tricks three. Yeah, I'm with you there. That's right. good. <laughs> Skip the hydroponics, we're hooked on phonics. We got snare hips and bass kicks expired. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the word. Skip the hydroponics, we're hooked on phonics. We got snare hips and bass kicks and two fine chicks. We go city to city, shore to shore. We rock you to death, a bunch of begging for more. <laughs> Or strip down after the break. Passing gas can be deadly. Whoa! Oh, something's funky. Passing gas releases a plume of toxic vapors. Oh, oh, honey, not in the car. Like ammonia and hydrogen cyanide. Oh. Oh. And lethal poisons that can linger even when windows are open. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas, take it outside. Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen, Pirate Fridays. Steel by Pirate Fridays. Here we are, episode 50, and this is the part where we're going to talk to Jennifer Juba. I don't know if it's going to work though, I'm going to have to she's, translate. She's having a hard day today. Jennifer Juba, a little bit under the weather. What's going on today? Not too much. Oh, right. <laughs> it's working, I can kind of talk. Yeah. So, again, you have been one of the faithful crew members here since the beginning. 49, 50 episodes, you maybe missed three or four. About it's that. gonna hurt. It's gonna strain the throat. Take a look <laughs> back with us, Jen. 50 episodes. Each of these shows take about three and a half hours. That's a lot of volunteer time, Jen. I thank you for that, but look back. Some good memories. 
of 50 episodes of Stripped Down. It's a lot of memories to go through. I don't know. I mean, it's it's always really fun, whether it's just a really good live band playing or just hanging out after. I mean, we only spend like an hour on the show and two and a half hours sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> you <laughs> Not can, doing nothing. <laughs> you could jump in here too, Laura. Everybody talks about the music. The technical training, man. Making TV. How cool is that? I love it. Yeah. It's my favorite thing to do Thank in you. the world. <laughs> Forget the bands. Making TV is the fun part of Stripped Down. You ready to do another 50, Jen? Are you excited for the next 50 episodes? I'm going to have to go ahead and say yes. Yep. Yes, I am. Is Pirate Friday's going to come back in another 50, and we're going to do episode 100 even bigger and better, guys? Mm -hmm. Episode 100? That's a big secret. Mm -hmm. Twice as big. Oh, I don't know how we can wow. do it, but we'll, we'll make it work. Promise. We'll actually be floating. For yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It has been a long time. It has been 50 episodes. You've already heard from Jesse. You've already heard from Jordan. Let's take a look at some other crew members who you haven't seen tonight who aren't part of the band and aren't named Laura Churchman as they reflect back on 50 episodes of Strip Down here on Shaw TV. Well, everybody has definitely grown for sure. Like, as far as, you know, camera and even in the control room, stuff like that. I mean, we've lost a couple people and there's some people who aren't always here, including myself, unfortunately. But um, definitely, especially cameras, I would say, have really grown. And, like, it's not such a struggle to find shots anymore. It's just, like, everybody's just constantly on their game, which is really good. Well, it was my second day on the job here at Shaw, and uh, Curtis kind of forced me. Well, he asked me politely, and I said I would like to help out with Strip Down. Oh, man. There was so many really, really good bands this last little while. I've s I can't even think back on it, but like, there's been so many bands we've had on where I just like get too into it and almost forget I'm filming. I, I don't know if I can say a best memory, but like the first time you put me on as floor director for like uh, was Stephen McGuire with the Irish dancers. Like, I was the floor director and everything was just going all crazy. I had no idea what to do, but in the end, everything pulled together. And I'd like to see more big bands, to be honest. Like, like we've kind of done the acoustic thing, but it's like, I don't know, acoustic kind of gets old after a while, and I'd like to get some more, like, pianists in here, maybe? Because we don't, we haven't had very many of those, and there are a lot out there. And maybe just kind of get in with a younger crowd. Like, I have a whole bunch of people I want you to line up for next year already, so. Yeah, stripped down hasn't really been that stripped down, as it seems, as far as I've been working on it. Maybe next season, six balloon drops in one episode, possibly. Something like that. Just random episodes, like One Bad Sun was pretty good, I thought, and, uh... <laughs> but yeah, Steve, the Stephen McGuire show with the Irish Dancers, that was, that was pretty killer. Christmas All-Stars was my first episode, and it was apparently, uh, I thought it turned out pretty well. It was a little chaotic, but, uh, I think, I think it worked in the end. People actually enjoy coming here. I mean, like, Wednesday nights, I actually look forward to that. I think this show is actually awesome for a, uh, a local television show. I think it's very creative and uh, a lot of hard work goes into it, which is awesome. You don't really see that with a lot of uh, shows. Next, next year, I just, I just want this show to keep on going the way it's going. And like, because so far it's, I think it's going in the right direction. Like just bring in more guests from across Saskatchewan and whatnot. And I, we got, we've got something good here. We've got something good. Um, my favorite part is really just uh, every week coming in here. It's a good crew. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a good atmosphere, and uh, we just have a lot of fun doing the show. It's been a stretch. It's been a, an interesting, interesting road. I'm really glad to be a part of it, though. I think this has really benefited me in a lot of ways, and I hope to take this experience with me on my further life. Strip Down is awesome. Watch it every week. It's the only time I've had a job that I actually looked at and enjoyed going to, and. Um, I don't know, it's probably a testament. I mean, if I've, I've probably come here about 40 out of those 50 times, and we usually stay for about three or four hours, and all of that's unpaid, and I don't care. I, this is just as much fun as it is a job. This here is the elusive white logo that you can see in pictures on our MySpace. 49 bands have signed this logo. Every single band or singles act, every artist, musician we've had on here has signed this logo, including the Irish dancers that we had with Stephen McGuire's episode. Tonight, 
We retire this. After Pirate Friday signs it, we are going to put it in the Saskatchewan Music Hall of Fame and never to be touched again. Joining me right now, it's funny, I've got you two lined up because you were her replacement originally. I guess I shouldn't put the clipboard oh. in front of your faces. Laura Churchman started episode one. About episode four, you took off to Germany. Yeah. And we brought in It's a hard Jenna time to leave this show. Giacomelli. And you've been here on and off. You've kind of been the ringer, the, uh, what did I call you, the Zord for a while? Sure. Which is kind of funny because there's uh, some Power Ranger stuff on set tonight. <laughs> when all things fell apart, I'd call Jenna. She's back here tonight. Jenna, look back at Strip Down. Look back. Look back. Look some of your back. favorite episodes. Oh. Jenna, again, is the stage jumper, singer of Shania Twain, the hardcore, <laughs> the hardcore volunteer. Jenna, look back. Oh, man. Uh, there's just been so many. I don't know. It's been really great. Um, I remember Jen Lane was really good. I, I thought that was a really good show. That was a good one. Um, man, like, it's, it's just it's too much to think of. Okay, let's it's switch <laughs> gears. And let's talk to another person returning tonight. Not seen since our Christmas episode when life got too busy and you could no longer come. We forgave you. We brought you back tonight. Strip Down alumni, Catherine Morlock, very first person to ever apply for this show. Catherine, where have you been? How's it going? You're in Thailand! I was. I was in Thailand and I've been busy with school and with work and just life in general, just kind of hanging out. Is it exciting to see what Strip Down has evolved into? Because this is pretty high-end compared to what it was when you left. Yeah, no, definitely. It, you guys have gotten a lot more like organized and everything has really run a lot more smoothly. Alright. It's been good. Yeah. Catherine? Thank you so much for returning tonight. Jenna, always a pleasure. We have to take another commercial break, but stick around. we got lots more Pirate Fridays to go coming up on Strip Down after this. Let's go around on the logo now. Don't touch that dial. More Strip Down after this. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. The Monarchs return after its long winter absence in Mexico and California is a sign that the Canadian summer has also returned. But because of environmental threats like pesticides and the loss of breeding habitat, the familiar orange, black and white of Canada's best known butterfly may become an uncommon sight. To learn more about the monarch and discover how you can help protect Canada's wildlife, visit hww.ca. Escape sports gear and equipment for longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, unicycling, extra cycling, dirt surfing, and mountain boarding. For more information on sales and rentals, www.escapesports.ca. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. the leatherback turtle is the largest reptile in the world? It is, and it's huge. Roaming many of the world's oceans in search of jellyfish, it can grow up to two meters long and can weigh as much as five refrigerators. But as large as the leatherback turtle is, it's still really vulnerable, especially to poaching, fishing gear, and garbage. So what can you do to help protect this gentle giant? Well, for starters, never litter. See this helium balloon? Harmless enough, right? Well, if a leatherback mistakes balloons for food and eats them, they can get stuck in his intestines, causing the turtle to die. So never release helium balloons into the air, because you don't know where they'll end up. And that's just a start. When you go to hww.ca, you'll find out more about the leatherback turtle and get ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. Pirate Fridays. Something about a healthy face like a pick up and date fun. That's why I love my funky bone print. Always win perfect hand slapping strings. Hydroponics, man, we're 
thugs on fun us. We got snare hits with bass kicks and two fine chicks going city to city, shore to shore. We rock you to death, but you're begging for more. Swimming in the fish tank, uh oh, you gallant shrank. Up on the piggy bank, and now we're gonna rock the plank. I'm the rugged rhyme ripple when I spit the rough music because I'm cooler than I see words make when I'm frost. I'm known to do hip hop alchemy because I turn a normal line into gold. You see, taking cash and credit. I pack a Glock, a Gat, a Nod, and a Tech. Yo, we're dropping lyrics in legendary ways. Got your booty with your life, cause we'll fire broad days. Swimming in your fish tank, uh oh, you talent train. Come with the piggy bank, and then we're gonna rock the flank. Swimming in your fish tank, uh oh, you talent train. Come with the piggy bank, and then we're gonna rock the flank. It's hot out. Nachos. Where do you suppose all the cheddar flow goes? Wash it down with some gin and tonics while listening to Aquaphonics. song for four days straight and we need you guys to move <laughs> and it's still awesome so who are now we talking to now time everybody's been waiting for yeah. ladies and gentlemen Bryn what are you doing, Dylan? Price, uh... the ace of bass Bryn Price. Uh, Bryn hey. one of the hardest volunteers the hard chorus volunteers I'm just making up words hey. now look back 50 episodes Bryn has this been a fun ride yeah it's been a pretty fun ride um co-hosting was fun we were lovers and the Halloween episode, yes. where you rocked the Wicked Bride costume. Oh, yeah. Yes. Can that was arguably my favorite episode. I said this last week when we were doing the uh, Look Back episode, but if I had to pick a favorite stripped down moment of all time, it would have been Laura climbing a tree <laughs> on Halloween. You know, I'm hardcore like that, too. It is hardcore. No, not as was, hardcorest as Bryn, though. Of you know, it was one of those moments where I took a step back and thought, not only did Jay and I get a bunch of teenagers to carry gear through the dark for 10 minutes, build a fire, set up, do an entire hour around a campfire, Laura Churchman climbs a tree with an old Sony Hi-8 and shoots from above, down below. I did do that. Halloween was a lot of fun, Bryn. Yes. Yes, it was. Okay, let's look ahead. <laughs> Pirate Fridays. What does Pirate Fridays mean to you, Brent? How fun is this band? This band is a lot of fun. I don't know. I've always kind of wanted to be in a fun, upbeat band like yeah. this, and it happened, and it's fun. And <laughs> oh, your dream came we true. We have had lots of musical guests on here, including Teresa Sekirka and uh, Mr. Pereira, who were both like, that's awesome. Female bassists are awesome. Do you get that a lot? And hot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get both of those a lot. Yeah. Brynn, what happened the other day? What happened the other day, Brynn? We yeah. got a story brewing. Well, we played a battle of bands at Walker's, and I got a hug from a couple of guys backstage. Oh, my God. Oh, a hug? Oh. I'm not sure wow. I can put that on TV. Oh, that's scandalous. <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys about something, too. It's usually you. Can, how hard is it to play without people going... That's kind of like your thing. Every time I see you guys play live, there's always like a group of about 10 or 12 people doing that to you. What is that? Oh, it's because of the beard. They're going. They're just going, oh! Feel of that beard. Oh, oh what? Yeah. That's just something they do. It's like petting a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> That's random. 
Fantastic. I don't know where to go from there. Uh, I was talking about Money Bit Music earlier, saying that is arguably my favorite song. I'm not just saying that because you guys are here. That's my favorite song right now. So I went ahead, stayed late one night, and I cut a little music video of all the live footage I've shot for you guys. This, take a look at the monitor, is the live version, the live video of Money But Music. By a close, by a close, close uh, score point here between myself, Ryan, and the sound man, and the audience response really tied together, we got to give it up to... Yeah! <laughs> Pirate Fridays was our choice for this year. Yeah! I get up, I take a shower and pull up my old socks And I, I can't remember when the last time I ate was now It seems that groceries are just out of my class Cause I spend my days working hard for my dollar And yet I ain't no stunner, shine a gangster, a baller But hey, it's been this way for several years So I go on with life and forget about my fears But hey, I didn't say that I live in the ghetto Sometimes it's just hard, ain't no flowers and meadows I really can't complain cause I gotta be lenient To take the bus to work is a bit inconvenient And bro, I don't appreciate the stairs in my feet just cuz I ain't rockin' the new Nike SB Sometimes you gotta walk with whatever you got And there's something that I got have given me a lot We're just a couple MCs with a couple of dreams Working day to day lives to get a couple of creams We hope you got this album for less than free Can't remember the last time I made for a CD The roots run deep in this family tree Cause it's not about the money, but the music you see Guess an hour of life is worth minimum wage But working dead end is like a living in the cage So I stay entertained with dreams in the stage My rhyme book never empty with many a page But the lyrics are subtle, not ripping through your river cage The type that makes you stop, think and engage I'm not trying to boast, brag or upstage Only rapper like that is a mark, love pitch So I sit back, relax, let this ease your stress gauge Smoking this song and take it back to the stone age Just a couple of MCs with a couple of dreams Working day to day last year here with Pirate Fridays. Um, Curtis, Curtis, can I think he's in the control room. I'm, we're gonna we're gonna pass it over to Curtis in the control room here. Laura, Laura, oh man, this is epic. Never done before here on Strip Down. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Okay, here we have we have Sal Accardo here, the man I was talking about before, working the mic audio. Sal, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, Strip Down. Another volunteer. Jordan Bizdell. Jordan, you feeling it tonight? This I'm, man is I'm, working the lights. He's rocking the awesome rock lights you see tonight. I am. What? There we go. There we go. And another hardcore volunteer, Miss Tessa Hins. Tessa, we talked to you a little bit before. It has been a long and winding road, this thing called Strip Down. Your favorite memories? 
Um, honestly, I really enjoyed the commentary last week. Yeah, that, was that was a good time. Fun. That was pretty fun. I'm surprised we're still on the air. Tessa, you're doing a heck of a job. So you said you're getting shafted this episode, but you're not. You're switching up the storm. It's looking great. See, she was a little upset. She wasn't going to be in the studio actively participating. But you're here. You're switching. It's good. Okay, let's move on. Deepa Zlosky. Hi. Say hi to the good hi. people stripped down. Hi. I don't actually work on this show. This All is right. like my second one. So. Okay. Anyways, hey, let's move on. Here he is, the director, Jay Newfeld. He's really tall tonight. He's standing yeah. on a chair. Jay, eight hours it took to uh, wire in that rock lighting. You want to say yeah, some yeah. thanks to another special person here? Uh, uh, Stacy and Curtis Anderson. But Stacy, yeah, Stacy yeah, helped Stacey. out a lot of it. And uh, yeah, well, and, and I want to give a thanks to Curtis Anderson. You know, a lot of times a host of a show like this is just like a cardboard cutout, someone to look good in the clothes. But this is the guy who puts together the montage, the intro, who books the guests, who does everything. This yeah. is the show. Not just the guy on TV, but he is the show. If only I looked good in the clothes. Jay, it has been 50 weeks. It has been such a blast oh, working yeah, with you. Yeah. This guy is the technical guy. I come in and I'm like, hey, I want to do this this week. And then I sit down and have coffee. And Jay runs around. He's up on ladders and he's like, we lost three good men but I made it happen and I'm like cool <laughs> can we do it again next week and he's like ah it's pretty much how it goes but it's been a lot of fun working Aww. with you I look forward to another 50 we're just gonna keep hammering these out we're back in the fall but we're also coming back for two summer specials at least two we're having the uh, Jesse Gordon co-host night with Meister and the Assassins look for that and then we got another little surprise we may do another one on location since it was so much fun on Halloween we may do another one from another secret location but strip down is unstoppable. It's going to keep going next fall. People should watch for it. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. All right, should we throw back to the studio for Laura to throw yeah, it a break? Yeah. I don't know. This is hey, crazy. What happens when you put the point the camera at the monitor? Yeah, the point camera. at... What, what is going on here? Is, oh, oh! Go back to Laura. Go back to Laura in the studio. Okay, cool. Yeah. Throw it a break, Laura. Throw it a break. Hey, we're back in the studio here. Fire Fridays. Anything else to say? <sighs> Oh, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> All right, I guess yeah. we have more stripped down Thanks coming up after this. <laughs> uh. Don't go anywhere, more stripped down after this. a Canadian $1 coin, so you're probably familiar with the common loon. It's no surprise that this water bird represents our country. Have you ever sat by a lake and listened to the loon's haunting calls? You probably wonder what all the noise is about. Its calls can mean anything from, I'm over here, to stay away. Humans enjoy Canadian lakes just as much as loons do. But if we're not careful, the wake from our boats can destroy their nests and lead sinkers and jigs can poison and kill loons if they swallow them. So here's how you can help. Keep boats away from nesting areas and swimming birds, especially ones with chicks too young to dive or fly away. And if you're fishing, use non-lead sinkers and jigs so you won't harm the loons. And that's just a start. If you go to hww.ca, you can learn more about loons and find ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. Stick around, more stripped down after this. Do you know how many people get their water from underground? Water can come from the surface or underground. Groundwater is found in the layers of soil and rock beneath our feet in saturated areas called aquifers. This water source is collected in wells and supplies about half of North America's drinking water. The problem is, the quality and safety of this underground water is directly affected by what we do on the land above it. What can you do to keep your drinking water safe? Groundwater starts on the surface, so whatever you put on your lawn that the plants don't use can seep into the groundwater. This includes excess chemicals and fertilizers, and even oil spills, so be sure to dispose of them properly. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. 
Call 664-6640. Strip Down, episode 50 is coming to a close. Laura, this has been an amazing night. It truly 90 has. 90 minutes. Can you believe That's it? That's one and a half shows long. That is one and a half. That's like mm -hmm. as long as a movie. Wow. Did you have fun tonight? I had a lot of fun. Did the Curtis. energy drink we slammed before we started rolling, did that I don't help? know. It didn't really sit right at first, but I think I got into it. Yeah. All right. It's let's good. talk a little bit more to Pirate Fridays. Dylan, where did Dan go? Hey. What is next it's for Pirate me. Fridays, sir? What is next? What is next? You guys have been in the studio. You've mm. won the Battle of the Bands. The globe. <laughs> the global domination. The world. <laughs> Play on the universe. <laughs> and Dan, when is oh, Aquaphonics going to be available oh, on goodness. the MySpace? And do you want to do you want to promote your MySpace again, real quick? Yeah, uh, Aquaphonics is. I can't tell you when it's going to be done. It's, <laughs> it's and we keep going back for better and better mm -hmm. ideas. Um, yeah, but keep on checking in. www.myspace.com slash Pirate Fridays. There it is. See, Not the, the one from team. England. Did what is the, fuck that? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what's going on? There's one from hey, England? That one right one there. One from England? Yeah, there is a band from England mm -hmm. called Pirate Fridays. That's yeah. where you got the name, isn't it? No. Oh. Ooh. And, Ooh. Well, I'm not. Oh, well, they they got brand, it from you. But, uh, yeah, they totally. Stole There's only room for one you guys. Pirate Fridays on the. You'll have planet. to battle it out, I think. Yes. Battle, yeah. battle, Absolutely. Battle. Yeah. So what? What? Seriously? Like, what's next? Album. Talk album. You guys oh, don't have goodness. one out yet. We've been working on an album for like a year. Yeah, yeah more than a year. Okay. Atlantis shenanigans. <laughs> Atlantis shenanigans. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what it's I called. I still think you should go with hip nautical. Like nautical. I like that one. Huh? Oh, nautical. nautical. Yeah. Who's yeah. thinking? Barnacle. Who's thinking? Um. um as for <laughs> as for Barnacle. recording, yeah, like. We're working on it. Um, big shout out to Ben Dobney, who's been helping us a lot. Basement recordings turning out like butter. So good. Yeah. <laughs> um, great kid. Yeah, just helping us out. Yeah, he always like covers if we don't have a member of the band. All right. So, you know what? I think we're wrapping things up. I'm sorry, guys. We are out of time. This has been so much fun tonight and for the last 49 weeks. I'm so happy this came together. I'm so happy we had Pirates Fridays on for episode 50. If you would have told me two years ago that I'd be doing a show with a bunch of teenage volunteers and it would be far and above my career highlight, I would have laughed in that person's face. <laughs> but thank you from the bottom of my heart, everybody involved in the show. This has been the funnest ride of my life. I hope we go for another 50, another 100 episodes. I love each and every person in the studio and in the control room. Here it is. Play us out. Thank you so wait, much, you guys. Wait. Last oh, song? On behalf of Pirate Fridays, I'd like to present you, Curtis Anderson, with the first official Pirate Fridays t-shirt. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Hey. Alright. See, that's a good color. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> if Tom Selleck is watching this, I'm sorry, but you have a genuine good mustache. Don't sir. sue us. <laughs> Don't sue us. <laughs> Alright, you guys, thank you so much. Play us out of here. This last song. song. Taking names. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's do this. Thank you so All much. Right. The Mandarin Club!